technology for mass production of graphene, uh, graphene and two-dimensional materials. Uh, so, uh, so uh, as you know, there are many approaches to uh, to obtain graphene, but uh, the first method technology is uh, micromechanical exfoliation. But as you know, this is not a uh, mass production method, and so. Uh, CVD method is uh, the uh, mass production method which allows to obtain uh, which is high temperature process and allow to obtain mass production of graphene but graphene has grain boundaries and besides uh, uh, during this process uh, uh, we use chemicals, high temperature and sophisticated devices so it's very important to avoid this uh, high temperature sophisticated devices and chemicals. So the simplest, cheapest and fastest methods uh, at the moment are like rubbing, mechanical signing, shear exfoliation in liquids, hydrothermal exfoliation, wet ball milling and so on. So I presented here the uh, shear exfoliation uh, process. As you know, he, this is uh, here we can uh, get uh, mass production, but in this case we, uh, we use uh, ultras ultrasonication which, uh, which uh, degrade the quality and decrease in the size of the uh, graphene and two-dimensional flakes. So what is the solution? So as you know the, the main problem of, problem of the preparation are uh, are the long, uh, they are, the processes are long-lasting, sophisticated and not direct. So, and they use chem uh, toxic chemicals, high temperatures and expensive equipment. So what is the sol solution? It's better to develop cheap, easy, short lasting, ecologically clean and highly productive, as well as universal, which means uh, to, to, prepare all, uh, uh, to prepare all two dimensional materials with one technology. Uh, so, uh, how to make graphene? So we just we su we suggested uh, two methods, but I'm not I'm going to speak about the second one, su substrate rubbing method, which allow instead of using scotch tape and graphite to use just two substrates, and uh, and uh, after that to rub. So and in this in this case we are not using uh, high temperature chemicals sonication etc. Just we can uh, get uh, graphene uh, during 150 seconds to three minutes by hand. So uh, here uh, so this tech, uh, we call this technology substrate rubbing. So and it's extremely simple. So it is single step process which is very important. It's fast. 150 seconds, cost effective, chemical free and tr uh, transfer free. We can get uh, graphene on any substrate and it's reliable, highly productive, it's 100% and as well industry scalable. So what uh, the method comprises, putting pristine bulk uh, layered material, also nanotube or fullerene between two solid su substrates and rubbing su the substrates each other. Just, uh, just to rub and so after 150, we will have graphene on it. So what are our products? We have uh, nano stripes, nano, uh, nano sheets, and also we can get uh, two-dimensional heterostructures. Hetero also, we can obtain dispersion in liquid. So the process uh, you can see here, just we put uh, distribute uh, powder on the substrate, and then uh, with the second uh, substrate, we rub uh, two substrates together and after that you can see that the dots are el eliminated and we can see that nanostripes appear on, the sub on, on both substrates. And so in further uh, rubbing uh, we can see that we, we, will have, uh, we will have no dots and so after that we will have multi-layer multi -layer, uh, nanostripes after further rubbing, we will have a uh, few layer, few layer, and then monolayer graphene. And not only graphene, here we can have other two-dimensional materials if we use other powders. So, uh, so what is the process? So we use three-dimensional powder dots, and then we get multi-layer nanostripes, then a few layer, and then monolayer. 
And uh, here we have very uh, unique uh, uh, sheets of graphene or two-dimensional materials. So, for example, monolayer and few layer uh, sheets are consist of quantum dots uh, or uh, nanostripes, and this uh, nanostripe consists of quantum dots. And so we can get different uh, uh, length, width, height, density, and shape. Uh, shape nanostripes. Here you can see a few examples uh, of nanostripes and sheets, optical images, and here I show you the Raman spectra, and here most important we can uh, get new new Raman peak which is conditioned with uh, rubbing, and here AFM images of this one, and, and, and the finally we can see the difference in IV curves of graph graphene and graphite. And here is the TAM image, and also uh, just we use different conditions of rubbing. I mean, uh, we use different substrate powders, a different direction of rubbing, number of the rubbing pressure, and uh, we did it manually, automatically, continuously, subsequently. And here are few images just rubbing with different substrates, um, a different amount of powders. A different uh, distribution of water, a different pressure, and different materials like oak, hydrogenated fuller, and also we have this. Uh, yes, yes, just. Uh, and uh, here, and uh, we have different sizes. We, we can play with the nano stripes, and we can get different uh, sheets. Uh, and also, we can get not only graphene. We can get also uh, boron nitride nano stripes and sheets. Here is Rama spectra, and at the end we can get heterostructures of two-dimensional materials. Uh, so we have uh, the Spanish patent, EPO patent, uh, WIPO patent of this technology, and also we published uh, last uh, we published this paper in UK. Uh, so, uh, so what is um, in the conclusion? I want to say that we we obtain. Uh, non-conventional technology, which which allow us to get unique uh, graphene uh, graphene sheets with nano stripes, and uh, I want to inform you that these nano stripes I firstly demonstrated in our paper. Uh, so, and at the end, I want uh, to we are to say that we are open for a collaboration. I mean, a theoretical calculation or any application of these unique uh, sheets. At the end, I I want to acknowledge. Uh, my colleagues from University of Santiago of Compostela, Professor uh, Arturo Lopez Quintela, and uh, Carlos Vasquez Vasquez for collaboration. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you, Cost, and also for your attention. Mm -hmm.